Hello, I'm Severo Martinez, the Literacy and Humanities Director for the New Mexico Public Education Department. Thank you for joining me for Storytime with Severo. We all have that one special person in our lives that will always be your number one fan and your biggest supporter. We're gonna learn about that person in this book that is titled, Love You Forever. It is written by Robert Munsk and illustrated by Sheila McGraw. Love You Forever. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I will love you forever, I will like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you will be. The baby grew, he grew and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was two years old, and he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator, and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. Oh no. I'm sure mom was really mad when she saw her watch in the toilet. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old and he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said, bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. Oh no, he's growing up older and older. And now he's even saying bad words. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. I think her baby is getting kind of heavy now. The boy grew, he grew, and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends, and he wore strange clothes, and he listened to strange music. Sometimes the mother felt like she was in a zoo, before, do you remember she was saying that she wanted to sell him to the zoo? And now she feels as if she is at a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. It is amazing that we can hear about the unconditional love she has for her son. 
That teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown up man. He left home and got a house across town. Yes, he did grow and the time has come for him to move out of mama's house. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. I see that car taken off. Where do you think this car is going? Take a guess. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I will love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Yep, now he is very, very heavy. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day, she called up her son and said, you'd better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. Oh no, the years have passed and mama has gotten old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy, you'll be. Now in this picture, you can see that now the page has turned. And now it is the son's turn to rock his mom back and forth. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. I wonder what he was doing waiting so long there. Let's see. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. And with that, we get to the end of this story, Love You Forever. In this story, it's just amazing to see how we went from the mom and the little baby and just how he was driving her crazy. But in the end, as she grew older, it was now the baby that was taking care of the mom. And now there's a new baby in the picture. It is just amazing the way stories can be told through books that we are able to read. Today, I challenge you to thank your mom and dad for everything they do for you on a daily basis. Because without our parents, we wouldn't be able to get to school. We wouldn't be able to have the ability to join sport teams. I mean, without their support, we really can't do much. So appreciate your mom and dad, love them. And the challenge today is just to thank your parents for all they do for you on a daily basis. I hope you enjoyed that story. That's your only challenge for today. Thank your mom and dad. Thank you for joining me for Storytime with Severo, and I will see you very, very soon.